So I'm trying here the glyph here for the first time. There's 720p in, in each eye. Uh, that's really cool. So uh, let's do the interview right here. So hello, so who are you? Hey, I'm Eric. I'm Eric Chabold uh, with Avagant, the makers of the Avagant Glyph. Uh, and I'm heading uh, sales, business development and marketing over there. So uh, there's uh, two 720p displays here. What is the technology that you're using? We have a very unique technology here. We call this a virtual retinal display. So it's a personal movie theater without a screen. So if you look into the glyph, you see light coming out of the glyph. And we actually project the picture right onto your retina and use your retina as the screen. So it's a DLP? Correct. It's a DLP technology. So there are Texas Instruments chips in here. And there's two, there's two of them? There's two of them two actually. Times 720p. Correct. 720p per eye. And the unique thing is uh, those chips actually uh, are powered by two low powered LEDs that project light on an array of two million micro mirrors. And those mirrors reflect the picture right back into your eye. All right. That's, so that's, how do you design this? Um, so basically, we thought about like what is a form factor that people feel comfortable with. And we know a lot of us like to wear our headphones. Yeah? And this is how we came up with this form factor of the glyph. It looks like a pair of headphones. You can wear it as a headphone if you want to. But usually our customers, they wear the glyph like this. It's their personal mobile theater. Oh, that's cool. So uh, this is for sale, right? The product is for sale. Uh, we officially launched a product at CES last year, starting to sell it in the US uh, in June of 2016. And now we are very happy to bring this product to Europe. We actually started selling it in Europe shortly before Christmas and now rolling it out to the UK, Germany, Italy, France and Spain in Q1. So what's the price? The price point is £499 in the UK or €549 Euros for the rest of the other countries that I mentioned. And the sound is pretty awesome? Uh, the sound is really awesome. We use Harman Kardon drivers in here, so it's pretty high quality audio. And our audio engineers, they optimize the audio for movies and gaming. And it's not too heavy on the nose? Uh, it's not too heavy on the nose, so it, it weighs about 440 grams, a little bit more than high quality headphones, which are usually around 400 grams. What we do is with the glyph, you can actually take out this nose piece and oh. we give you four different nose pieces and you can find the right nose piece that fits best for your nose to give you the best comfort. There's a lot of uh, adjustments you have right here for Correct. all the different things that people would need to adjust. Can you show what you have? Correct. So you can adjust the IPD. That's the distance between your pupils because all of us have a different distance between our eyes. So you can move those sliders in or out depending on the distance of your pupils. One of the most important adjustments and a very nice thing to adjust is the focus, which you can adjust by turning those dials left and right. So we allow people that wear glasses to take off those glasses, make it more comfortable for them, and you can adjust the focus from minus seven to plus one. A last adjustment is the nose piece. If you feel that the screen is a little too low, you can push out the nose piece and adjust the height properly so that you see a full screen. That's awesome. What's the background of the company? So the background of the company is the company was founded uh, by two engineers, Alan Evans and Edward Tang. They originally developed this technology for the military because the military requested headsets that you can wear for a very long time comfortably. Then while developing those headsets, they most of the tri time tried consumer contents and mainly movies. And then they thought like, why don't we create a device for consumers so that they can watch movies comfortably for a very long time. So it's uh, tested to be comfortable. Yes. On the correct. eyes is, is great. Correct. So the beauty about this technology is this retinal imaging technology um, that you can wear it for a very long time because it works like natural sight. Think about, for example, this table. We see the table because light reflects off this table into our eyes. And this is exa exactly what we mimic here with the glyph. We mimic natural sight so that you have the most comfortable experience watching movies or playing games for a very long time. So it's different from the other kind of micro display technologies that uh that shine uh, uh, LCD or OLED or something like that? Yeah, this is correct. Something so ha else is happening here. For example, let's say if you wear other virtual reality headsets, an HTC Vive, an Oculus Rift, or Samsung Gear VR is the best example. What happens with those headsets is they put basically a phone screen very close to your eyes. Yeah? 
And what happens there is, because they put a phone screen there, and then they have lenses to magnify the screen, you see a screen door effect and you see pixelation. We absolutely don't have any pixelation or screen door effect with our technology. So uh, the first customers are happy? The first customers uh, are very happy. They're using it for many interesting use cases. We created it to watch movies. They use it for mobile gaming as well. They use it for flying drones as a drone display. And they actually start using it for productivity, which we would not have anticipated in the, f in the first place. So what they do is, because it has an HDMI connector, they simply plug this into their PCs, their laptops while they are on the go, and use this as a very personal screen so that they can watch documents and work without being disturbed by the outside world. So you can, uh, if you are somebody who has a real job uh, that you don't want the person sitting next to you on the airplane sees what you're doing, this is the product for you. Exactly, correct. Imagine like you're a lawyer, you're working on a very important contract, or you're a salesperson a working on a therapist. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want people to see your confidential data and the glyph is basically your first uh, personal screen that you can take with you wherever you are. And if you are so immersed into your work, you might work even better because the screen is just like, there's no way to get distracted. You, as long as you wear it, you're actually working. Exactly. So you're actually working, you're very focused, but the beauty still is that you also can work, see documents that you have in front of you, or even still use your keyboard and your mouse because we have this peripheral vision. It's also something current VR headsets don't allow you because they block you out. It's basically a shoebox in front of your face. With a glyph, I can still see you, I can still communicate and still interact with the outside world. And, um, and so DLP is really happy about this product, right? They're showing you off and stuff? Absolutely. Interestingly, Texas Instruments originally questioned if it, e if it is even possible to put DLP in a head-mounted display. And we are the first company to prove that this is possible, and actually the result is pretty astonishing. So the next generation is going to be 1080p and 4K, right? I'm joking. Um, we are we'll currently see. not disclosing our okay. product roadmap, uh, but there are certainly several improvements that we will make to the next generation of this product.